Yeah, so I'm in uh, Puerto Natales now and it's actually pretty nice. Um, at least the, the waterfront here. I haven't seen much else. Um, yeah, and I'm staying uh, with a couch surfing family. They have like 360 references. Um, yeah, nobody speaks English, so that's a bit of a problem for me. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow we will hike uh, to Torres del Paine for five, five days. Del Pain. Um, and it's perfect weather actually. Like the forecast when I checked this morning basically said today it's gonna be rainy a little bit but still uh, the, with a bit of sun as well. So now we just have the sun. <clears throat> and when I say we I actually well I got off the bus in the middle of two different stops that they usually have to walk up a little viewpoint here um, and two couples in the bus uh, decided to join me so I'm not walking alone anymore which is good because it would be against the rules of the national park. <laughs> You're not allowed to walk alone. And one thing I didn't know, they have like closing times for the camp. So most of the camps you have to be there at 6.30, some of uh, them at 3. the path a little bit <laughs> straight in the beginning um, but at least we're not uh, backtracking now so we have a nice loop going up through some hills that's not too bad <laughs> so we're really close to the viewpoint now and then we go back on the normal route <laughs> To the viewpoint, uh, Mirador Condor, it's called. Um, uh, it's actually really, really nice. Uh, some people in the hostel told me that the viewpoint uh, all the way over there somewhere is nice, but this one is a bit higher and you can see more, so I think this is as good as it gets. Um, and yeah, now we're gonna walk back. Uh, hitchhiking will be a problem with five people, <laughs> but it's just five kilometers. I made it to the campsite at 6.30, uh, basically at the time when it closes and uh, yeah, we're the only people here now. Yeah, that should make it a bit softer because I only have um, the blue um, isolation mat and it's not very comfortable. Just
Good morning, day number two started uh, and night number one was a bit horrible because uh, we had rats in the camp. Uh, and even though I put my ham and cheese and bread uh, up in the tree, um, they were still uh, trying to get into my tent and now I have four little holes in my tent. Now I'm trying it because it was also very cold this morning and then I will duct tape it. But um, yeah, it's a shame because it was the first time I used the tent <laughs> and now it's broken already. <clears throat> yeah, The rest uh, got up a bit later and I guess they're still having breakfast now. But I just wanted to walk a bit faster and then have some time to dry all my stuff here. Uh, this is a pretty amazing spot. Yeah, the campsite close to the Paso is supposed to close at 3, so that's a problem. Because uh, it's 1 p.m. now and it's 4 hours away. <laughs> or 5. Oopsie. <laughs> Now that the deal is done, I roll west into the setting sun, where I can't waste your precious time no more. So you got the best. Yeah, another really nice spot here uh, for pictures uh, and perfect weather still. Um, it's getting busy now. There were about 12 people having a break here, and they're all heading up to the Paso as well. Yeah, I passed the refuge uh, grey and the campground grey. Uh, nobody asked me for anything, so it seems like the rangers are not working in low season. <laughs> um, the glacier in the background. Woodpickers, I think that's the name in English. <laughs> I can get so close to them. Just up the road, there's a road that leads to another road. Yeah, nice bridge. And I met uh, actually two French guys coming down now. And I said, and on the top of the pass, so there's a ranger sending all the people back. Ranger will come down later, I guess, and then see me. Um, but I don't think he will make me move back uh, in the dark. So, should be fine. There's a place called forever. Yeah, so I met the ranger uh, just uh, 10 minutes after the last video. But um, he was very nice actually, um, and I was nice as well. So in the end he let me stay here. And I'm trying to find the viewpoint. The thing is there's nothing marked anymore and the trails are not existing anymore. And I think the real viewpoint is a bit over there. Yeah, so this time I used uh, or rather found some moss uh, here in the forest because I don't have a nice uh, comfortable um, mattress. Yeah, day number three uh, and there's another bridge, another hanging bridge, that's cool. And I slept very good this night, um, didn't wake up, no rats, quite comfy, um, so perfect.
I just met a, a guide coming uh, from the other side. They're doing the circuit. She said I should be at the puzzle 20 minutes already. <laughs> oh, that's good news. So I have lots of time actually. It's the first good view here out of the forest. to stop uh, one more time because the view is just so amazing and yeah I really need to get a haircut <laughs> my hair uh, <laughs> is getting out of control last haircut was Christmas and now it's April so I've never had it for such a long time uh, my hair growing camping camping spot <laughs> oh yeah I had the permission of the guide uh, not the guide the, the ranger so it's all good and now I can't wait to eat yeah so I'm back um, and I paid the park ranger a visit because he wanted to see that I'm okay and yeah I had a feeling he well he's a really nice guy and he actually lets me sleep here in my tent now Well, I could just hear the first carving. I, I climbed down to the very bottom of the viewpoint here. The water is rising quite fast now after the carving. Wow. <laughs> so I think a good time to move on. morning uh, day number four <coughs> and now I know why I, I slept uh, so bad tonight because it was really cold and my sleeping bag was a bit wet uh, I think this night was the coldest night <laughs> because I have ice on my tent <coughs> yeah but I still got a few hours of sleep and there's a really cool moon Ah, 
Yeah, so just uh, 20 minutes after leaving the camp, I fell down and I had to, uh, yeah, I got a little injury on my hand and my knee. That's why I stripped down to my shorts now, <laughs> which feels a bit stupid uh, meeting other hikers. You, you like the sun and I Yeah, I made it to the camp after a very fast walk. Now it's time for lunch. To Mirador now, uh, there is a well, the remains of a glacier on this side, and a very nice view on the tortoise uh, from the back side. Now, uh, on my last day, I will be on the other side of this mountain range. Um, yeah, and I'm not really sure where the viewpoint is because I don't believe they will take me up to one of these peaks, that would be more than one hour <laughs> from here. So, let's see. But everyone said it was a nice view, so I'll check it out. So this is the end, and as I thought, that it's not a 360 degree view because for that you would have to be up there now and that's much further away. Yeah, there is actually a sign saying uh, the rest of the trail is closed because there is a path leading up there and coming back here, but yeah, it's closed and off-season. thing I want to see is the Todas viewpoint and I heard it's best for sunrise so we'll get up a bit early tomorrow and go there for sunrise and then make sure I can still make it to the bus uh, at 2.30 because I have to take the ferry tomorrow as well. Found a good spot for lunch break uh, and to dry my stuff as usual and give my sleeping bag a bit of air. Um, also get out, get out of the shoes will be nice. I try. The last bit to the refuge, the refuge here was actually really nice, uh, entering this canyon here. Uh, again with the trees, uh, they changed their colors now in autumn and uh, it's not as impressive as Newfoundland but still really nice.
away. Last camp is set up and I think it's really nice again. Um, the campground in general is quite, quite nice, the forest here. And I'm on the very edge again, far away from any snoring people. A uh, little stream mixed by and the best thing, I could find some moss again. <laughs> Last hike tomorrow. Um, yeah, hopefully the sun will come up, <laughs> otherwise it's not going to be a nice sunset, <laughs> uh, sunrise. And again, amazing cloud formations here. So I'm really glad the clouds are coming in now, but hopefully one last morning with sun so we can see the sunrise and then it can start to rain, because then I'm heading back. <laughs> It's the last and final day of my Torres del Paine uh, tour and it ends with a view on the Torres. Um, right now they're hiding in the clouds um, because it was raining all night long. I couldn't really sleep uh, very well. And then I was walking up here in the rain without any visibility. And just when I got up here it uh, cleared up a bit. And now you can see the lake at least. And uh, yeah, probably they will come out again slowly. And there's a bit of um, orange in the sky so the sun seems to be uh, peeking through soon. The other people that came here in the dark, they are leading now. Uh, I had breakfast first and walked a bit faster. <laughs> So I'm on the street heading back to Amada, I think it's called, the starting point where or the first bus stop. There are three bus stops here. Um, yeah, I think everyone else is waiting for the shuttle uh, so they can uh, drive to the starting point because it's another eight kilometers. But yeah, I can walk some more and um, really enjoyed the hikes here, um, especially with that weather. And um, the most memorable moment was probably walking along the Grey Glacier, that was pretty impressive. And being able to get up to the Paso and making friends with the two rangers. <laughs> uh, watching, watching climbing movies with them and eating their freshly baked bread, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's me from Patagonia and now I'm heading to Puerto Montt with the Navimac tonight and then towards Bariloche for some more hiking. Adios! You made it to the end of the video, that's awesome! Thank you so much! If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like button as well, leave me some feedback in the comments and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. A special shout out to my Patreon supporters as well. If you would like to find out how you can support me and receive monthly benefits such as receiving postcards from me or me being your own personal trip planner, then check out the link below.